everybody welcome back to another video the T on MPD and relationships of course you know how we do it family before we get started uh, I want to say thank you so much to all of you welcome back to all of our new sus subscribers and new followers welcome hello everybody and to my tribe and family at large welcome back thank you all so much for coming back and watching another video of course I want to say to uh, all of um, all of you listen Thursday night Thursday night Thursday night you don't want to miss Thursday nights okay Thursday nights 5 p.m. I would love to see you here right here on the channel do you understand me 5 p.m. Thursday night Pacific Standard Time right here we go live listen lots of great information conversation we're talking about taking your healing to the next level we're talking about getting rid of all of these old things that have been driving you uh, simply insane things that are no longer serving you that's preventing you from healing Thursday night I want to see you here I'd love to see you here on Thursday night let's take your healing to the next level of course every time we drop a video on the channel the goal of the day is 2.1 K plus 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 if you rocks with your girl if you rocks with your girl hit that like button all right y'all let's jump into the topic of this video all right I gotta put this out here I want to talk about it because it was on my mind you know talking about the narcissist um, you know, really operating like you are the actual predator. I said it. I said it. And I'm going to give you some spiritual backdrop and I'm going to let you know exactly how you can see this play out. When we're in terms of, you know, talking uh, talking about the narcissists and how they actually do things. You know, I mentioned this before in a video, but you know, people think that sometimes oh you know well how could they how could they think that I was the predator you know they treat you they actually treat you that way now the narcissist and I'm gonna say this because I really want you to get the concept of what I'm saying the narcissist by nature is a predator okay and here's what you have to know about the narcissist and how they operate the narcissists, they like to always keep information to themselves, okay? Especially information about who they are, uh, their family, their past, their background, all of that, okay? They want to keep that information to themselves. Why? Because they understand that they are not there to love you. They understand that. They are going to absolutely use you. And at some point, this situation is going to be all the way over. Now, just because they understand it doesn't mean that they're ready to accept it. Let me break it down. Because when you come into a narcissist's life, this is why y'all saw all the family and the toxic enablers rallying around you. Everybody wanted to see you. Everybody wanted to meet you when they found out about you. Because the narcissist told them that you were just the best thing since sliced bread, okay? But that was only because the little kid in them identified with the little kid in you. Now, that's the only time that you will ever see a connection with what I call somewhat of the true self. Why? Because they love bombed you with the little kid inside of them, okay? And then after they love bombed you, the rest of the love bombing, when it pulled you in, that that demonic force took over that, okay? So, demons use every part of a person, okay? They, they mostly use your voids. They most, what they do is they use the more, Im, the most immature parts of who you are. Oh, I'm giving revelation. I need y'all to please help a sister out and hit that like button. The demons that reside in a narcissist is going to use the most immature, ignorant parts of that narcissist in order to pull you in. Why? Why you? Well, let's talk about it for a minute. You are probably a person that cares a lot. You probably are empath. Maybe not. Maybe just full of light. You know what I'm saying? 
maybe you 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 did have a you know you had some traumas too where there is a, some of the same voids existing in your life you know some of the same traumas you went through in your life so that kid that that little kid inside of the narcissist is pulling on the little kid inside of you that's where the initial tr uh, attraction came from so now after that attraction has been established and the you know you, what you think is a connection it's not a connection at all all it is is sensory overload and i said that before i said it and i mean it i will not go back on that ah! okay i will not go back on it because that's exactly what it is it's sensory overload so let's go further let's go deeper so when we're talking about a predator, we're, see the narcissist, once that initial uh, attraction and that sensory overload begins, which you think is a connection and it's not a connection at all, once that happens, then there's going to be a demonic force that will basically step in and take it from there. Because what you have to understand is demons know how to manipulate. They don't, they don't create anything. So how can you have a connection with someone when a connection requires creating a connection? Oh, I'm speaking revelation. Oh, I wish you hear that part too. They don't connect with you. Create a connection causes, uh, it causes you to create something. Okay, so you can't create with something that doesn't have the ability to create. You can only have sensory overload. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay, so that's where we're going. Now, the, the now moving on to the part where a narcissist knows once that demonic force begins to go into action and that cycle is, is starting to rev up. You getting into that love bomb. You getting through that love bomb to the devaluation. You never know. You you never knew from the love bomb to the devaluation. You didn't even you you never saw it coming. You never saw how the range just changed in front of your face. You never saw it. You never saw spiritually what was beginning to happen. You know that the phone calls were getting uh, beginning to slow down. That you were having to start looking for the narcissist. Why? Because once that narcissist got that sensory overload going with you, they said, you know what? This is what a narcissist does. You have to understand this about them. Now, this person... It's supposed that this is what they're thinking. This is supposed to be the best person in the world. But how could they really be the best person in the world when I'm just a horrible person? And I've actually told them nothing about me. But yet they tell me they... Now, now minus the fact that they told you that they loved you, they done future faked with you and everything. They told you all kinds of lies, but never really told you anything that was actually legit and true about them you know what i'm saying they never told you any deep dark secrets no 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 that's not permitted that's not permitted because then you have information that you could use against them but they're collecting all kinds of information to use against you okay all kinds so what you see is the narcissist begins to change because at towards the end of the love bomb and you're now you know you're sitting there like you done told the narcissist oh i'm all in you've already told them that you're ready to go to the go down the aisle with them you want to have they they say they want to have children they saying all of this kind of crazy stuff they go from future faking to future cursing okay yeah, because by, by the time it's all done, they're going to be cursing your future, telling you, you are, you will never be anything. Oh, you'll never be anything. Nobody will ever want you. You're just this. You're just that. You're going to die alone. You know, all of that kind of stuff. That's what they tell you. Okay? So, they will start to basically, they started treating you like the predator from the beginning. Because they didn't tell you anything. All they told you was a whole bunch of lies. But see, you couldn't go fact check because you were too caught up in the in the cloud of lies. You know, you had actually married all of those lies that they told you. You had married the lies. 
and you and you were laying down foundation around that faulty i mean that you you were laying down a permanent foundation around that faulty wiring that they that they basically was coming with you laying it down now the narcissist is looking at you like i don't i i, I didn't i never um i never told this person anything about me have never really shared anything intimately about this person I mean about me to this person and it just all happened so quick now in their minds it's not clicking that they were the ones that was pushing it no 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 because what you got to understand about a demonic force is that what their job is is to work in tandem but in uh, in what we call incognito operations okay they they they're gonna work undercover. The narcissists don't even know that they're being used like that. But these are all of the thoughts and the narrative that's going on in the narcissist's mind. Then the then that demonic force tells them, This is your enemy. Man. When that thing tells them that this is your enemy because you never told this person anything about you, how could they love you when when uh, when you're such a horrible person? This is what that thing is telling them. I'm telling y'all right now. I'm telling you, I get revelation. I can see this thing, and and it's just, how could you? How how could this person love you when you're such a horrible person? How could this person love you and knowing that you have gone through all of the the things that you have gone through? How could this person love you with this and that and the other? Mm -mm. They are. You better back off, and you better back off quickly, and you better do so. You better destroy them before they destroy you. Because if you don't, if you don't stop them quickly, if you don't destroy them by that time, you all the way into the devaluation stage. By that time, you are just you hit that devaluation stage. You messed up. That narcissist is devaluing you and everything. Why? Because right after that love bomb. That, that entity told them that you were the enemy. You were the one that needed to be destroyed. Because you were the one that was after them. That was trying to do to them what was done to them as a kid. Because how could they love you? How could they love you? You're nothing. You're trash. You're this and that. That's what that negative narrative tells them. And this is how it plays out in your life. How it played out in my life. They treat you like the predator. Then they turn around and they do all of these little secret things to you. I mean, just secretive. They hiding things from you. They hide, they hid the fact that they had 25 different back burners. That entity had them keeping all of those situations going. You know you got to keep this person over here and keep that person over here. And this one over here, you know you can't trust anybody because people just tell lies. That's all they do. And this person is going to do the same. As soon as you start trying to show that narcissist that you really wanted to be with them and you really wanted to love them. <laughs> no, 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 no. That demon told them that you needed to be destroyed. That you were the predator. That part. And that's what clicks because it's almost like that, uh, that, uh, that, um, uh, devaluation. It's almost like the devaluation. It just clicks overnight. No, what when it clicks this is when it clicks i told y'all this before it clicks when that narcissist knows that you're all in that's when it clicks that's when the reins change okay that's when they change and you go from that manipulative little kid that they were to now you're dealing with a full-blown ancient spirit or spirits let me be clear spirits with the s okay and then before you know it, you feel like you're feeling crazy. You're feeling alone. You're feeling abused and misused. But you're still hanging in there. Why? Because you married the lie. Help us, Lord. You married the lie that they told you. But in the narcissist's eyes, you couldn't, You how could you love them? Because that demonic entity is telling them how horrible they are. And it's also telling them that, you know what, this thing moved too fast and this and that and the other. But it's not saying to them that they were the cause of it moving too fast. They were the primary. 
cause of it moving too fast. They're not saying that. They're telling them everything else. This person needs to be destroyed. You need to get rid of this person because they're a predator. They're just here to use you. And some of the narcissists, sometimes the narcissists even told y'all that. You'll testify in the comments. You just want to use me. You just want to abuse me. You don't love me. You don't care anything about me. You just you you just you just want to see me hurt. You just want to betray me. Oh, they told you all kinds of horrible things that you were never trying to do to them. They were only confessing what they were trying to do to you. That's all. That's all. But this is how they treat you like a predator because in their minds they know what they are. This is why they think of you and treat you like the predator. Because in their minds, they know who they are. And they believe that everybody in the world is just like them. That's why they treat you like that. They believe that everyone in the world, I said it, did you hear what I said? Is just like them. Okay? It's just like them. So this is what happens. You know, when you're dealing with that narcissist, they're going to treat you like the predator because in their mind, they really see you as a predator because of all of what I have just explained to you. Now, I need y'all to hit that like button because this right here is some deep, relevatory information. This is going to help somebody. I need y'all to like this video, like this video and share it, family, because this is what narcissists do. And this is how they get you caught up in their mess, their web, and their trap, and their web of lies. You marry the lie. You know, you marry them. And this is why it's so hard to get away from them. But family, I want you all to share this information. And I will, um, I will see you all on the next video. Do something good for yourselves, okay? And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all.